wants to be powerful. Everyone wants a name, fame and success for yourself. But how do you truly get there? How do you truly accelerate towards your success, towards your journey? Well, the secret to that lies in your daily routine. How are you envisioning your life? What are you doing every day? How are you dividing the same 24 hours to make an extraordinary life from an ordinary life? What are you doing differently that is going to put you, you know, separate you and make you different from the rest? You know, when we think in terms of energy or when we think in terms of the universe, we need to raise our vibrations. You know, every time I, you know, say things about your energy or your frequency or your vibrations, you know, everything comes down to this one thing that I have learned on this entire journey that has, you know, culminated a lot of things. It has brought together and amalgamated a lot of things for me as well, you know, because the path that I was actually walking on and taking was quite unknown to me as well. You know, you're not always given the map, you know, where you have to go. There are certain roads you have to find yourself in life. But how willing are you to explore that side of life is what is going to set you apart from the others. And see, whenever you are aspiring to rise, you're aspiring to succeed, aspiring to be a leader, you know, you have to hold that kind of traits in yourself as well. And if you don't have it in you, develop them. So how can you do that? By changing daily practices and routines that you do. So the first thing that you practice in your life is discipline. And that is going to come when you start to conquer your mind. So then you start giving commands to your mind and not the vice versa. Because what happens is most of us, you know, when the terms, when the when it's the time to be disciplined, you know, your mind is going to oppose those things because it is way out of your comfort zone. You know, it is not easy to be disciplined. It is not easy to be your own teacher and to restrict your own self, you know, from doing certain things or, you know, from uh, behaving in a certain manner. As a matter of fact, even if it is waking up at four in the morning, you know, even if you decide to do that, your mind is going to tell you, oh my God, you know, just leave it off, let's just sleep. But that is something that, you know, is stopping you. You know, you have a certain potential in your life and what when you're doing this, you are stopping your own self. So what is the point of it? You know, you're not, you're not getting any ahead. And how is sleeping any longer than that helping you? But will waking up do? Definitely. And what am I talking about? This is one example. The moment you start to train your mind to listen to you, you know, you hold the power within you. And the moment you take that power from your own mind as well and you start to control it, you stop listening to these unnecessary thoughts and you start, you know, to focus on your own growth and you don't bring in all these petty little things onto the way. This ladder to success, you know, will be already on it. Everybody has 24 hours in their day. Be it the wealthiest man in this world, be it the most spiritual, the most achieved person in this world, or be it anybody. So what is it that they're doing differently? You know, how is their success, their growth so damn accelerated? There is something that is happening. There is something, you know, some kind of a power, some kind of an energy that they're harnessing as well. And you can access that as well. Think of it as something like going with the flow in the current of the ocean. So the oceanic waters, you know, they have a certain current and when, you know, a fish starts to flow with the current, it travels way faster than what it would have on its own. And when you try to swim against the current, what is going to happen? You know, you're going to be slower than your usual self as well which is just what we need to understand when we are here in this world as well. When we start to align our energies with the universe, when we start to create the flow with it, when we align ourselves and go with the sink, play by the rules and work with our intuitions, with our inner GPS guidance system, you are going to join the flow of the universe, which is going to accelerate your growth as well. 
So see, anybody who gets into spiritualism is, you know, looking for some kind of thing that, you know, leads them there. So be it peace of mind, be it happiness, be it, you know, the will to improve on an energetic level, or be it, you know, the will to actually become the best version of yourself as well. Because all these things happen, you know, when you embrace everything that is within you and this is one thing that spirituality has very beautifully taught me as well that how do you embrace your shadow self as well because the light side everybody embraces that everybody loves that about themselves oh yes i am beautiful oh yes i am confident but what about the parts of you that you know you are also not okay about why not become okay with that why not work on that why not heal that as well because when you're going to do that, you know, you are a complete person. There is light and darkness too. The light does not exist without the darkness as well. So when you are putting together everything that is within you and you start to experience life on a deeper level, you start to look at things, you know, as, as a whole, you know, you are not taking out the entire shadow self out of your light when you do that that is the time when you're really really going to start to grow into your life because you know you are expanding your consciousness already so this is a wonderful way that you know you can introspect that you can retrospect and when you know you start taking life by this when you start going ahead in your life like in this sort of way with this sort of thinking you are going to grow and you're going to grow at a very fast pace as well so no matter what you know your life is your profession is whatever you are doing try to introspect try to inculcate these practices that i've told you into your life and spirituality meditation you know your light work is going to help you do that get there these things are not just for holistic healers or practitioners these are there for everybody this is open for everybody have you gone out of your comfort zone and explored it if not do it today and let me know how was it for you if it was helpful drop me a like and a comment so that i can bring you more such videos thank you so much for joining in this is simran kumar from kali rang